not the Metabo! Motherfucker! God bless it. What's up everyone, Jed here with Hunt Mobile Welding again. Uh, today we have an awesome video. Uh, we will be working on a railroad switch point. We're gonna be repairing this. Um, I do have the track locked out. This is an industrial track for a uh, grain operation. Um, I control the track and everything. But what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be fixing this switch point. I got four of these to fix today. Um, the other one is supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look like this. Um, and what we're gonna do is, is we're going to grind out all the bad stuff down to good metal, probably back to here. Uh, we'll clamp some copper bars on it. Well, preheat it, clamp the copper bars on it, and then build it up and then grind it back out. That's the plan. Uh, we are gonna be using the 12 VS today. Um, I have the wrong rollers but uh, it's feeding the wire just fine, specialty wire for rail build. Um, if that doesn't work, I have some Lincoln Super Rail stick that I have just in case, always have a backup. Um, other than that, we can get going on this thing. Um, we have four of them to do today and uh, we'll see how this goes. It's a hot one. Let's get rolling. So with that, the process of getting these done is we're going to grind out all the bad stuff, uh, figure out what we have to rebuild, and then uh, you preheat it, and then uh, you clamp your copper onto it so you don't have any blowouts or rollover, and uh, you build it up, and then you grind it out to the shape that it needs to be. Um, and I have gauges and everything here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, you guys can see these. Uh, there's different gauges for different switch points, you know. Um, yeah, we'll do that, and uh, let's get started with this thing, get it ground out. First weld of the day is always the biggest cocksuckers.
fucking wrong rollers is not a fucking good idea. You're fucking breaking my goddamn wire. Fuck this whole thing up. I gotta grind it all out. Start over. Alrighty, everyone. Sorry about that. I got into a little bit of a rush because I uh, I fucked up a little bit on this first one. I uh, I didn't have my welder set. I was using it. Uh, I was using it for welding. 045 and I switched over to the specialty wire and I forgot to adjust everything before I I sat down and uh, I preheated it and then I uh, I noticed my gun wasn't acting right and then my uh, My wire broke inside the machine and I ended up having to grind it out and preheat it again up to temp and then uh, then weld it out and then post heat it and I had to have that in a little bit of a time frame there, so, uh, but I got it done. And uh, that's what it looks like right now. Um, we need to grind it out and then get my measurements and get my gauges and make sure everything's hunky-dory and make sure she closes up and then we can move on to the next one. Hopefully I can uh, record a little bit more of the, uh, the actual process of me welding it instead of uh, just the preheat. Probably won't uh, record any more of the preheating because it's uh, it's preheating. Uh, but uh, we'll get it going here and uh, let you guys watch and tag along. All right, let's get this ground out. Gribbity grind, gribbity grip grind.
Not the Metabo! Motherfucker! God bless it. Well, fuck me running. There goes my fucking day. Oh, man. Fuck a duck. Well, I'm glad I got this done. This one done. I got one done. Oh yeah, by the way, you like that? Look real nice, don't I? That's what I get for fucking around with my dog. He headbutted me and beat my ass. Swallowed my tooth and everything. But, we're all done. Looking pretty good. There's no overflow on the backside. When I close it up, it's nice and tight. That's what you're looking for. So you don't have no trains picking points. I can, oh. Need to adjust their switches though. Oh. You look at it. Nice and tight up against the rail. The train wheel ain't gonna hit nothing. But that fucking pisses me off. That was my good fucking Metabo. Just fucking beat her to hell. So, I have cordless drills and grinders and stuff, but I won't have enough batteries to get me through today, which sucks, because I was hoping to have her done today. But uh, I guess I'll have to go home and buy a new grinder and come back in the morning, or maybe even tonight. I don't know, we'll stop by, stop by Home Depot here and or somewhere get another fucking grinder I guess that bad boy right there this fucking thing is dangerous as all hell I don't even want to use it as soon as you plug it in the switch is broke so as soon as you plug it in it fucker starts whirling everywhere it's a death trap so I ain't even that thing's getting thrown away the metabolism I might put a new cord on that I might save that because I'm kind of a hoarder but Man, this pisses me off. I had everything. I was ready to set up and get on that second one. But I guess uh, the shitty part is, is this is a, two hours away from the house. So it's just a shit situation. But And most importantly, everyone, when you're traveling long distances, remember your driving shoes. Nobody wants to drive in steel-toed boots for extended periods of time. Alrighty, good morning, everyone. It is day two here. And uh, I, uh, I'm going to leave in the first switch that we did yesterday because it's a good learning experience for all of us. Um, not all these jobs go the way you plan them to. Yesterday I had a bunch of problems and uh, didn't have the right drive rollers. Um, I cut my cord on my grinder um, and then I actually found out I was low on propane and oxygen so I probably would only got one more done anyways. Um, I just got a little excited when I got this job 
that I, I didn't uh, check everything before I left. So I, uh, I called it quits yesterday after one switch point and uh, went home and reevaluated and rechecked everything and took some time, cleaned the truck out a little bit better and got a new uh, K bottle for oxygen, some more propane, got the right drive rollers in and uh, I think today it will go a little bit better. Um, I just didn't, uh, you, you can't remember everything on every job. You try to, but uh, I, I forgot a few things and uh, made it yesterday really <laughs> difficult. But uh, I've fixed my grinder too, so um, we're at switch number two here. This one doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too, I mean, it looks bad, but not as bad as that one yesterday. So we'll, uh, we'll probably grind that all out and get some of that overflow off there and butt this up real nice. And we'll get going here. Should be a good day. And uh, should be some fun. Alrighty, and everyone, just so you guys know, uh, the process here for that, that preheat and postheat, um, you gotta preheat it up to 700 degrees and then uh, you do your welding and everything and then you wrap it with a blanket and you post, well, you post heat and then you wrap it with a blanket. It, usually when you're welding, you don't have to post heat it because it'll be up to temp and then you just wrap it. Make sure it doesn't rapidly cool. So uh, with that, we'll uh, get started here. Take a look at what I'm looking at here. Making sure it locks up real nice. And over, you know, it's flush with the parent rail. Get all the overflow off so they actually mesh up before they were they were gapped out a little bit. Looks good. Uh, let's get some copper in there and get the welder started. We can get welding here. Alrighty, starting to preheat here in this second one and let's see. We can see that. Maybe I'll put you guys over here.
can't see. I'm trying to build this tip up that was lower. I'm trying to build it up to the same level as the back so I can run straight beads across. So I run short ones until I get it level and then I'll run big ones across the top. And that is a full switch point rebuild. Alrighty everyone, that's the post heat. And uh, we get it down to under 400, we can start grinding on it, 
get it shaped up the way it needs to be. Here's the uh, the other side, what it looks like. You know, we'll, we'll radius the point, make sure it's below the parent rail. This one's pretty good. So uh, once we're done here, we'll load everything up on the truck and we got one more, I think, to do down there. So we'll do that and then uh, we'll get heading home. Besides that, yeah, yesterday was a rough one for me. Uh, with the uh, the wrong <coughs> drive rollers and not having a guide and then uh, running out of propane and oxygen, ripping my grinder apart and just wasn't a good day. Sometimes you just need to, uh, you need to shut her down and sit back and reevaluate everything and take a minute to just uh, think about everything and not so go balls to the walls all the time. Uh, I have a hard time with that because I like to I like to get shit done and fast as possible but uh, sometimes you just need to take a break and that's what I did yesterday. I went home, cleaned the truck out, got the new bottles on there and everything and then uh, went down to the beach with the dog and the wife and the kid so but yeah, uh, let's get grinding this thing here. Got a lot to go. This handheld fucking grant, this little one, ain't got no oomph like that big one. I should have brought my hydraulic stuff with, but for such a small little job, I didn't want to haul around a hydraulic power pack and a hydraulic hoses and all that crap, so. We're just about done here. Uh, just some the final touches on the the point, the actual tip there. So, give me one second. Alrighty, everyone. Found my gauges. She messes messes up real nice with the gauge. Locks up real nice. And this one's done. Everything locks up real good. Um, there's a lot of overflow. I'm not really going to mess with it much. So we're just going to get down to the next one here and get started because it's getting hot and humid out. So here we go. Moving on down the line. Um, what I will do is I will spray it down with water and everything just to make sure there's no smolders or anything like that. 
Um, but look at that. Look at that switch bar there. How bent up it is. Not the greatest in the world. But what do you do? It's a jointed industrial track. So it ain't the Taj Mahal, as my dad always said. So, all righty, here we go. All right, everyone. Let me uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if you guys think this switch is good to go. <laughs> what do you think of that? She's mint, right? Just send her all down the line. <clears throat> so, so uh, do that. Like, subscribe, follow. Check out all my other social medias if you want. Leave a comment. Tell me you fucking hate me. I don't really care. Just, uh, yeah, interact a little bit. Let's see uh, see this community grow. Uh, I also want to say thanks to everyone who recently subscribed. Um, we jumped up. We tripled our subscriber count in under a month. That was awesome. Um, and thank you for all the guys and girls who subscribed initially. Um, I am very surprised that I could uh, get people to watch my dumb ass do something all day long. So uh, I really appreciate all you guys and girls. And uh, yeah, let's get going here. Alrighty, everyone. That is uh, a wrap. Uh, we got it in the post heat. I got to grind it out a little bit and I'll get a little video of that towards the end here. But uh, if you guys have any questions on any of this equipment that I'm using and stuff, uh, like the uh, the umbrella, the stand, any of my nippers, grinders, the water tank, or you know my blankets, which welder I'm using, leave me a comment or uh, check out the description. I uh, I have a link that uh, goes to a lot of the stuff that I have, and it. Uh, it gives me a little kickback if you buy something off of it. Uh, that money I put all towards the the channel. Um, I would like to get a dedicated camera or something for this instead of using my phone all the time. But uh, yeah, with that too, um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if you like this video. And if you didn't, uh, tell me why you didn't. Uh, hopefully I can improve. But uh, it's a hot one today, so I'm going to get this all wrapped up here.